Hi, sorry I'm late. You were supposed to help me pack. You went shopping? I'm helping plan Sam's wedding. Remember, I've been running all around town picking up samples, floral, fabric, and I can't find Spinelli. You haven't seen him, have you? No. Have you checked the alley behind the bakery? You mean his new home away from home? I checked there, but he wasn't. I'll, I'll go back by and look when I pick up some cake samples. Ooh, and I got Sam's ring from the jeweler. He did an amazing job cleaning off all the sewer stuff. Do you want to see it? Uh, Jason actually picked it out himself with a little coaching from me, of course. I'm sure that it's beautiful, but I'm actually going to pass on that. Why? Because it's a symbol of happiness. You know, I have no idea why you're so determined to be miserable, Lulu, for no good reason. I can't trust Dante. He's lied to me over and over, starting with being undercover and then lying about his relationship with Brenda, and now this. Uh, but Brenda is gone, and good riddance. Not only did she turn out to be a selfish bitch, but a huge fashion disappointment. Why would you let her ruin your relationship with Dante now? Maxie, this isn't about Brenda. This is about... Dante and patterns. You just said it was about Brenda. He is comfortable keeping things from me. So how am I supposed to trust him if I don't know what he's holding back? Well, I don't know. I don't know too many guys who would travel all the way around the world to help their girlfriend find their crazy runaway father. Are you sure that's not what this is about anyway? I mean, your dad leaving, you being worried about Lucky, and instead of dealing with it, you'll just break up with Dante because it's something you understand. Mm. More wisdom from the Crimson Advice Call? I'm serious, Lulu. You breaking up with Dante is a safe place for you. You make your own rules, even if the rule is you're breaking your own heart. What are you doing? Well, you're supposed to be helping me. I am helping you. By taking stuff out of my suitcase? Yeah, you and Dante are just going to make up in a few weeks anyway, like you usually do, and then all this no. stuff will end up back here like you. That is not going to happen. Want to bet? Give me the dress. No. Give me the dress? No. Are you kidding? Great. Are you happy? Are you? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm miserable. Look, I'm sorry about the dress. I will pay you back. I just think that you're making a mistake. I know that you're trying to be a good friend. Do you? What is that supposed to mean? Well, I sacrificed an all-expense-paid trip to the French countryside with Matt so you and Dante could use it to reconnect. And how did you repay me? You took off to Florida. And you brought back tacky souvenirs. Like, where did you get this? From I one of those like girls at that brothel? It. Dante likes it, too. Oh, there's a shocker. I got it at a vintage store in Jacksonville. Oh, there is a fashion hub. Wow, you were such a snob. I'm just saying, vintage is over, okay? If there's a reason things go out of style, this thing should have been retired a long time ago. Okay, well, I think that you need to go back to focusing on Spinelli, because that's what this is about, right? You don't know how to fix him, so you're trying to fix me? I guess the Crimson Advice column goes both ways. Fine. I will admit that I was convinced I could snap Spinelli out of this fantasy world he's living in. Tried everything I could think of. I even took him to Georgie's grave. But he's just staying fixated on the weirdest things, like, like you and calling you Moonlight. I think it's pretty normal. Very funny, Lulu, but this is serious. I thought at least taking Spinelli to see Jason in the hospital bed, that would snap him out of it, but that didn't even work. And now I can't even find Spinelli. Well, it seems like you have a lot on your plate. What's going on with Matt? What about Matt? Well, I haven't heard you mention his name once. I mean, is there trouble in paradise? He and Matt are fine. We're just... Really busy with our careers right now. I mean, he's a doctor, so he's, like, married to his job, which is okay with me because I'm practically in the same boat at Crimson. So, you know, like, if I, I have to work late or cancel or something, I don't feel guilty about calling, and the same goes for him. Mm. Sounds like a really nice way of dressing up the fact that you guys don't see each other. Just saying. We see each other plenty. We just respect that our careers are the most important things in our lives right now. Like, he's working on this really special thing. Okay, I don't know all the details about it, but that's not what's important. The bottom line is Matt knows that I care. We're there for each other. We don't have to spend every waking moment with each other, you know? It's a healthy, mature relationship. Whatever you say. A lot more mature than whatever it is you're doing. I mean, you can't have a fight and just break up. You're supposed to work through it. I've tried. Sometimes things just don't work. Why? Because Dante isn't damaged enough for you, Lulu. You have enough damaged people in your life. Don't throw up the ones who aren't. See? He 
He's trying to fix things. Granted, it's not completely original. Flowers, really? Yeah, my grandfather used to buy my grandmother flowers all the time. Exactly. Wouldn't kill you to be a little more modern. Oh, well, you don't know enough about flowers. Apparently you need to have a chat with my mother. She'll set you straight. You know what, maybe, maybe you can go do that right now. Actually, if you wouldn't mind, we'd be alone to talk. Fine. I have to plan a wedding anyway. For people who aren't afraid to be happy because mm. they're in love. Goodbye, Maxie. You'll thank me later. <laughs>